Hello. Hello, hello. Oh, you got shock. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Okay. So, I don't think more than this, right? No, that's fine. Uh, we have school today. Yes, okay. And that's the band you were using the last time, right? I was, for deadlifts, I was using the white band. The white band? Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I'm not sure how the... Okay. Can try it? I think so. I think you could. Uh, let, let's use. Yeah, let's try the white band now with the shock. It might. You might be surprised. Okay. Oh, just one second. I thought my uh, AirPods were connected, but it looks like they aren't. Okay. okay. <laughs> okay, there you go. Okay. So this one is double, Right, get tight first. No, pull your pull your knees back a bit. Pull your knees back, not all the way, not all, no tanto. Y ahora tú jálate un poquito más para atrás. Ahí, get tight. Ahora empieza de ahí. Para abajo. Ya ahí ve para arriba. Wow, nice. Ahora, la más que mantén tu cabeza, recuérdate con tu cuerpo. Cuando esté yendo así, ya. Yeah. Usa las piernas, échate para atrás con las piernas. Y empuja para abajo con la pierna. No es jalando para arriba. Usa que la pierna es la que mueve los hips para adelante. Y aprieta duro ahí. Good. Good. Esta es la banda que tiene que usar because look, you've held, you're by 16 or 17 already and you're doing good. Great. <laughs> you see the difference that shock makes? Yep. Yep. E e good. Even though you're trying to like regrip, eventually you're not going to have to regrip at all. You're going to just hold it. Yeah. But the shock is making a huge difference. You're getting, look how many reps you're getting before you weren't able to get them. Right. Yeah, it is. Definitely. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Okay. Really tired. Wow. That's very good. Okay. The idea is to get tired. So <laughs> yeah, that's the idea. I'm getting tired. Yeah. That's the whole idea. <laughs> Good. Good squeeze, good. Good, okay, so, wow, you didn't do that before, you did like close to 30, all right, so I give you in two weeks, in less than two weeks, you're going to be in the light gray already, 
That's the difference right. that shock makes and using the proper form. Wow. Yeah, no, it helps a lot. That yes. Now leave it on because it's going to help you with the pulling. It's going to help you with the bent row. It's going to help you with the curls. It helps with all the moves that are pulled. Alrighty, that's good. I'm gonna use a little bit more. I got this. Yeah, yeah. Um, with the bend row, uh, you were I'm using purple. Yes, I don't you were using yeah. the purple. Now we could try the the white and see how it feels. See if you're able to okay. get some good reps. Is this for my back? Yeah. But remember, pull with your back, not with your bicep. No laga. Don't go like this. Don't go like this. Pull with your back. All right? All right. Get in position first, like right there. Now. No, this is too much. Okay. Okay. Stop right there. Stop right there. Yep. You're going to. Are we doing one, one, uh... Yeah, I would do one, one thing per side. Good, right. good, yep. Bend forward a little bit more. Te inclinas un poquito más para adelante. And don't rest it on your knees. No, no, no. Ahí, ahí. Okay, then. No, put your knees back a bit. Like that? Yeah. Don't rest it on your knees. ¿Pero qué estás haciendo? The band that kind of... Ok. Uneven. Ok, relax first. Get in, not, don't get into a squat position. <laughs> Ahí. There you go. My back. No, no. Okay, so calm down. It's all right. It's okay. You know why? First of all, you did a lot of the deadlift, which is fine yeah. with the white that you didn't do before. The last time you did 40 with this band, but there was no loop. This time we're doing a loop, so it's getting it a little bit heavier, which is it's fine. Next time you're gonna get more. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh. so now, drag curl. Uh, we are not curving this one, right? Uh, are yeah, we? let's let's curve it once. Just pull it down. Just pull down. What? Pull down. There you go. Leave one on it. Okay. <sighs> Remember to do yeah. the Michael the Michael Jackson dance and lean forward. <laughs> And pull those elbows back as far as possible. All right there. Good. Good. Just like that. Just do exactly that. And squeeze at the top. Wow. Good.
You're showing good control there. I can tell that my body has changed. Completely. Your posture, your arms, your legs, everything's tighter. Everything's like really, <laughs> really, it's like looking awesome. It makes me feel very motivated because... Um, of course, that's what motivates is that you, yeah. with this stuff, you actually see results and you see results quick. You don't even... It, it's like very quick that you're seeing the results. Yeah, yeah. Probably, yeah. Thank you for Okay, start squeezing it up. I know they're hard now, okay? But we're gonna get, <sighs> let's see, four more. Come on, you got four more to go. <sighs> good, good. Okay, listen, keep on going. Keep on going, don't, no, 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 keep on going. Squeeze. Bend your knees a bit and go and lower the, bend your knees and lower the, pa que baje la tensión, bend your knees, go down, like squat down, squat down more so you could get less tension. Come on, pull, pull, good. Good. That's exactly what you want. That's how you do it. <laughs> good. Oh, this, this white thing really helps. It helps. Next time, I'm going to show you how to grab the bar better for deadlift so you're not constantly re-gripping. Because right now, you're constantly re-gripping. Because you're not grabbing, you're not setting yourself up since the beginning. You got to grab it the right way so you can set yourself up from the beginning. All right? Mm -hmm. That's all. <laughs> the calf raises. Well, which one did you do it before? Well, I think you were able to do it with the white band. Yeah, because yeah. you just now that you have the shock, you should be able to. Yeah. Yeah, I think after I do all this, um, this trick, the calf makes me feel a little bit anxious because I know that my arms are weaker. Mm -hmm. Look, so when you do it now and you grab the bar. Grab the bar, and when you bring it up, basically have it against your leg. So you're almost resting it against your leg, right here, right? Para que, so that it lasts a little longer, your grip. Either way, we're trying to work the calves more. So have your grip resting against your leg, in a sense. Para que te aguante más tiempo también, all right? On the calves, all right? Okay. All right, so have it. Space yourself out enough where your grip is landing right there. Para que tenga suficiente espacio para it's landing right there. But also now, when you're at the bottom, quiero que empiece, start torquing the bar at the bottom. Before you pull, dig it into your hand. Feel it, the knurling, feel it digging into your hand. ¿Me entiende? Once you get to the bottom, once you start, let's, let's put it in position. No, it's a little bit more. Okay. <laughs> is it shock? Shock, yeah. I'm going to show you a little trick that I use. You see, look look at the bar. You see where the bar, the, the hooks are facing away from you right now? Yeah. Okay. When you're doing deadlift and calf raises or any of the pulls, you're going to hold it longer if the hooks are facing you. Oh. I don't know why. And I've already tested this a million ways. <laughs> it always lasts longer if the hooks are facing you. Goodness. Okay? okay? There's something about the way the bar spins. Yeah. That it helps you like that. But now, now, okay, put your feet where they're going to be. Now, I want you to start grabbing the bar. Put your feet wider because remember, you, I want you to start grabbing the bar and start digging it into your hand. Dale vuelta, dale vuelta a esa barra, a la barra, mientras que, en la mano. Yeah, exactly, start squeezing into that bar. 
And make sure you're grabbing it, como te dije, con la palma de la mano, no con los dedos. Exactly. And turn it and rotate it into your skin. Dig it in there. Now squeeze it tight. Uh -huh. Squeeze your lats. Now pull it up and rest it against your legs once you're at the top. Uh -huh. Exactly. Dig it. Dig it. Turn it. Dig it. Oh, I'm, I'm too far. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. yeah, yeah. You got to be in the position. Get yourself in position. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> grab it, grab it. Concentrate on the grip first. Set your lats, get tight, then pull up. Like that? Yep, go, go. Breathe, repita. Good, good. You still held it more than you've held it before. Yeah. All right? It's, it's normal. It's okay. Eventually, it's going to get stronger. You held it, and you did better movement than you did before. Now, remember, you have to move the bar into this part of the hand. It cannot be here. If it's right under your knuckles, you're holding with your fingers. It has to be dug into your hands. So that's why you got to grab it like this, de lado where you're grabbing the bar sideways and then you turn the hand into it. Después le da vuelta la mano para que la apriete, como si estuviera rompiendo la barra esa. Now turn your hand and, and turn it. Like turn your elbows in. Vira los, los codos para dentro de tu cuerpo. Así. Así. Yeah. Y aprieta la barra. Good. Stay tight. The tighter you stay in your upper body, the tighter, the longer that grip will last. Good. Well, no, well. Calm down. Look, it's all mental. You're still doing okay. Now, well, remember this. You're going to have to put that cushion between your legs because... Right now, you're scared. If you drop that, it's going to hurt your leg. And, and remember, you have to. Next time, you did right now, you, uh, you did 10. Next time, what are you going to get? 12 or 13. You're going to force yourself to, your body's going to hold it. 12 or 13. Next time, you get 15 or 16. But put the, it between your legs. That way, you don't have, you not have to be scared that it's going to drop. Because right. that's right now what is really. What the, big, the biggest fear is, if this thing drops, I'm going to hurt myself. Yeah, it's going to hurt. So put that between your legs so you're able to hold it longer. And then if it leaves, it leaves. Who cares? It hits the cushion. It doesn't matter. All right? But you did good. You did good. You don't have to do it again. No, let your hands rest. Even though you don't think of it, your hands are getting work. So you don't want to keep on doing it because it's going to affect it. Let it. All right? Exactly. It's, let that get normal. It's going to get stronger. And next time you'll do more. Next time we're looking for 12 or 13. And then we're looking for 15 or 16. Okay. But you did it in, in, calf, in, in the deadlift. You did it a lot. Yeah. And you did a lot, yeah. a lot better. What's going to happen is eventually, right now you were regripping almost every, the first time around 10 reps. And then you did again about every six reps you started regripping. Eventually, you're going to last like 15 or 16 without, without, sin hacer la la mano which is what you want. Uh -huh. I know that people think that regripping is giving you more grip. It isn't. When you re as soon as you regrip, you really, really lose it. You have to stay tight. The tighter you stay, that, that's what, if you're having to move your hands, in momento, um, at the, as soon as you open, you're weakening your hands. Oh. Right? So even though we're trying to regrip to get more, you start losing the ability to get more. You have to be able to, the longer you could stay with it tight, the more the grip's going to last. Okay. All right? And then I'm going to start showing you how to hook grip. I'm going to show you something right now. Hook grip. Mira, quiero que hagas esto. Coge la barra. ¿Verdad? Y mira, mira, mira. Coge la barra y hazle esto. Aquí va el, de, el dedo gordo, ¿verdad? 
Ahora, con, le hace lo mismo con la mano, pero con esto aguanta lo, el, este dedo y este dedo aguanta el, el thumb. And then the rest closes around it. So the, the index and the middle finger are holding your thumb in place. And grip that bar like that. And watch how much tighter you're going to grip. Go. And watch how much tighter you're going to grip it. It might hurt a little at first, your thumb, but that's normal. Like that? Yeah. Put, wait, remember, no, but, but you got to put your thumb around the bar, and then you hold your thumb like, mira. Así. Oh, okay. Hold your thumb with your index and your, and your middle finger. Aguanta el, el dedo gordo con, el, con la barra ahí. On each side. Tiene que aguantarlo. El thumb. Wow. It hurts though. Yeah, that's what it seems to be. It, it, it won't hurt after you get used to it. <laughs> And then your grip goes to like uh, a different level. My grip? Dale, you're doing good. Relax. Go. Good. Keep on. Keep on going. Keep on going. Notice you're by 12 already, and now you're still holding it. You're by 13. See the difference the hook grip makes? Yep. Wow. Wow. Before you stopped at 10 and you were crying, you're close to 20. And you're going to do the same thing for deadlift, okay? For deadlift, you're going to do the same thing. Wow, 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 wow. Now, your calves got hurt. Now your calves failed, right? And you got stronger in the grip anyways. So that's how you're going to start holding the, the deadlift, and that's how you're going to start holding the, the calf raise. Okay? okay? And don't worry, your thumb's not going to come off. Not with that little weight. Maybe if you were doing the elite plus whatever, that right now, that's not doing nothing. Okay. It's just going to help you hold it longer. Yeah. A lot. Okay. Very okay. good. That was awesome. Look at that. You did like 24 when you only were able to do 10. Yeah. <laughs> okay? So next time, I'm almost, it's pretty sure that with the deadlift, you're going to get 35 to 40 with this same band by holding it like that. And then yeah. we'll be able to move up to the light gray. Great. That is awesome. All right? Great, thank you. Good so job. Tomorrow. tomorrow, remember, tomorrow I'm driving, so I won't be back until like Sunday. But let me see if during the drive I'm able to do it because I'm going to be driving to the conference tomorrow. Oh, All okay. right? So I won't be back until, I won't be back until uh, Sunday, but then... Uh, Monday we're able to work. I know we're able to get even tomorrow if you send me the videos But maybe while I'm driving I'll be able to do it because the conferences are very long But then on Monday at night I fly to uh, Phoenix, Arizona And I won't be back until Thursday Okay to, uh, I think tomorrow, tomorrow I will like uh, at, least, at least the front squat The front squat, okay Tomorrow you do the pushes, right? So I'll see if Depending on where I'm driving at, if, if, I, if I have signal. Okay. Okay, because it all depends on by where I am at the moment. Okay? okay. I'll get on it, and then I'll see if I have signal. Uh, I'll, I'll call you from there. Okay, so you will let me know. Okay, yeah, exactly. Okay. Right. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.